what's happening everyone and welcome back to the channel i appreciate you stopping by and joining me here on this beautiful day whether it's a good morning for you guys or just a warm sunny afternoon let's go ahead and listen to this band i've never heard of them saracen we're going to listen to their song heroes saints and fools which is actually the title track off of the album of the same name heroes saints and fools which was released in 1982 this track was recommended to me by N W B O W D E N. how would you say that N.W. Bowden. Let's just let's just go with that. N.W. Bowden. So thank you so much for the recommendation for the suggestion. Uh, you had described it as a bit like Rainbow meets Marillion, if that tickles my fancy. Well, consider my fancy thoroughly tickled. Let's go ahead and listen to the song. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. I'll show you three roads, now you choose the way Who are these wardens who call me? A soldier, a priest, and a jester, okay?
stuff makes me want to work out. You know, I just also, I just noticed the album cover, Hero Saint Fool. I just noticed that looking at it. Okay, that was impressive. That that surprised me. I have one little hiccup, one thing, but that's it's a small one, and I'm sure I could like very quickly kind of go past that. Okay, I'm definitely getting the Rainbow Meets Merillion kind of atmosphere. It has the the progginess, the playfulness, and the dramatic flair uh, that you would hear from Merillion. Definitely has like the, the, the in the vocals the character. You know that kind of that kind of personality, especially as the voices are singing in different ways. You have different people playing different parts. It seems, um, but then that the kind of straight '80s hard rock metal kind of sound as well, but sophisticated. Okay, now I'm gonna look it up because there was not a ton of information on the band, but the keyboardist that is who I want to focus on. Looks like that's gonna be Richard Lowe on the keyboards. His organ, the synth choices, all of that I felt was so, so good, so fun to listen to. There's those sounds in here that you can really tell, like, this is 80s hard rock. But then there's, like I said, that, that little bit of sophistication that just brings it to another level. Listening to this, the what I couldn't get out of my head was, this kind of sounds a little bit like early Symphony X. Like, like early, right? I don't know, there's just something about it. It has that epicness. Yeah, it lacks the symphonic nature, but I think that uh, the keyboards from Richard makes up for that a ton. Just really, really impressive uh, the way that he plays. And plays so nicely according to the song. Now, I also want to mention the guitarist, who the guitarist is going to be Robert Bendelow. Uh, Robert did not bend low, he bent high, and he brought the song into a much higher atmosphere with his playing, especially in the solos. In the solos is where I felt that his best work was done, which I guess you could argue, you know, a lot of musicians, that's where they get to show off. But I just feel like him alongside of those keyboards really elevated the music, especially when you could hear them both playing very, very wonderfully off of each other. And it truly brought it up like they really pushed everything up. Now, this is not to, you know, not pay attention to the other members, but it was just the keyboards and the guitars. I really, really felt were fantastic and kind of felt like the trademark of the band. Now, the only small, it's a small hiccup, okay? It's a small hiccup, but just to be up front and face to face, let's throw it out there. I like the vocals. The lead vocals are gonna be performed by Stephen Bettany. Okay, Stephen Bettany is the lead vocals. A lot of the other members here are also credited with the vocals, so I'm sure that they're all in that kind of call and response part in about the mid middle section. I'm sure they're all kind of doing that, which would be really fun to see live. And it, I mean, it does bring it alive. It brings the song and the lyrics to life. I will admit that I didn't really enjoy the vocal call and response sections. I felt that the vocals at that point were a little bit weak and a little bit amateurish. I, I didn't enjoy that part. But the main singing, who, I, like I said, I would assume uh, lead vocal Stephen Bettany, that was impressive. That I was happy with. It was just that little section when they're kind of going back and forth, some effects on some of the voices. I was like, eh, it's a little cheesy. But I like the song that I, I I could overlook that. And like I said, I'm just being picky. I'm just I'm just tossing it out there. All right, the lyrics. Standing at the gates of forever, how can I choose the way? 
what are the rules? Here the roads of life come together, the roads of heroes, saints, and fools. Staring in the face of dilemma, my shadow whispers, turn for home, but here I go. Stepping through the door to forever, I never thought my fear would show. What now? Where is the future? I'll show you three roads, now you choose the way. Who are these wardens who call me? A soldier, a priest, a jester? Okay. So I, I like the story here. I don't know what's going on, but we're thrown into the middle of the story. Okay, better proceed. You can't turn back. You got three different roads to go. Where are you going to go? Wake up, our freedom is calling. Fight for the right, and you might set us free. Uh, wake up, and a hero you'll be. Stand up, creatures of mercy, sorry. Reach for the Bible and march with the Lord. Stand up, stand up, and saints will applaud. And then... Look out, don't let them fool you. You'll never score if you stick to the rules. Look out, look out for the ones they call fools. So in just those three verses, you're now getting those three choices of the saint, the hero, and the fool, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, Johnny was a loser from the start. He listened to the wardens instead of his heart. I don't want to be a hero, a saint, or a fool. I just want to win like they taught me at school. Uh, forward lead the roads, roads to freedom. What a price I'll have to pay. I should have known even heroes cry. Yes, you've seen them. I think I'll take the road for home. Turning from the gates of forever, how could I choose the way? What are the rules? I know I had the chance, but I'll leave it to you, heroes, saints, and fools. So he's making his own choice. I don't have to choose one of the three paths. I'll go do my own thing. Never be a loser from the start. Take all the chances and follow your heart. I know I ain't a hero, a saint, or a fool. I just want to win like they taught me at school. So there you go. He doesn't, he's not going to fall into their, you know, their, their molds. He's going to mold himself and do as he will with what he is. That didn't make sense, but at the same time, it did kind of make sense. Let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you for the suggestion as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back tomorrow. You never know what I'm cooking up, but we'll cook up something. Have a great one, guys. Bye.